Are you there, Internet? It's me, Hewlett, with another D-Geek Diaries for you. Mixing it up at the beginning with a little Judy Bloom reference there. I thought, uh, I, I don't know, I sort of enjoyed that. So, today, it looks like I'm cold. I've got like a hoodie on. It must be chilly in Toronto because we all live in igloos, right? Wrong. Turns out it's actually hot and I'm boiling and sweating in this thing. I'm wearing it because it says the listener on it. And the reason I'm doing that is because our little friend, Rainbow Sun Franks, how can I belittle someone more than by saying a little friend? He's not a little friend. He's probably taller than I am. But basically, Rainbow Sun Franks is a guy who we worked with on Stargate years ago. Just love this guy. Um, you know, I made his life misery. He made my life misery. But we just, I don't know. I, he's one of those fantastic people who walks in a room, lights it up. I just love the guy. And I love that he's always, he's always doing something. He's truly fanatical in a way. And that he's always got, he's got some computer stuff and art stuff and fashion stuff. He's got a restaurant. He's got drones. He's, got, he's playing with all sorts of stuff. The guy's really interesting. So basically, it's sort of his baby, this episode coming up on... Um, well, tonight, tonight is the show, actually. So watch the listener tonight, because it's Rainbow Show. And um, it's also the company that we're working with right now on our Starshipper show. So uh, basically, I just want to do a shout out there, help them out, um, help us out, help them out. Um, and, uh, and also just because it's Rainbow. I just like, you know, the guy is just fun. So basically, check it out. He's got a tie-in with his console creatures and this like ogre, ogre game thing that they're playing. And um, it just, I, they've done a really, you know, they've worked really hard at this. And I, I just, I would love to see it, it, it sort of succeed for them. So there you go. Listener tonight, watch it, please. And if you don't watch it tonight, watch it some other time. And um, basically now we get to time because time is the question. I, because of this YouTube thing, I'm getting a lot of contact with people. I get a lot of people to sort of keep track of and things that I want to do and project ideas and, and just things that keep showing up and scheduling and meetings and all these things. I'm having a really, really hard time with that. Now, of course, I've got the amazingly talented and beautiful Jane to handle a lot of stuff. And we've got Christine helping us out, who's also amazing. And you'll be seeing her on a YouTube channel soon, I hope. Um, but basically, I'm looking for a way of organizing this better because I, I'm a nerd and I love playing with all these different programs that are out there, but I'm finding it's sort of another form of procrastination. I'm not getting stuff done because I'm too busy playing with programs about getting stuff done. So um, I sort of harken back to the days when I was working as an IT guy for this voicemail company and I was introduced to this um, Franklin Covey system and I read The Seven Habits of the Highly Effective and I kind of got into that because I sort of geeked out on that. I kind of enjoyed the way it sort of, you know, the, 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 the whole sort of life skills involved in it. It's funny, it's not sort of my type of thing, but Basically, I, I love that system. And I've heard great things about uh, Get Things Done as well. But anyways, I want to know about this. So I want to hear what's working for you guys, what software works, um, whether you're using pencils and paper and calendars, or what, what, is the, what, what is the optimal system for optimum, optimum system for, um, for getting stuff done and for organizing stuff and coordinating you know, to-do lists and calendars and all that stuff together. So comment below, let me know about that. Watch the listener tonight. And uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe in the sparkly lights of geekdom behind my head. And until we geek again, cheerio and 